Happy New Year. It's like 7 o'clock on January 7th. And, um, yeah. So today I'm talking low because my grandma's sleeping. And, and that's it. So today I want to go over my plan for the year. If you watch my other if you have watched my other videos, um, you know that at the beginning of every year I make a list of my goals for the year. And uh, yeah. So some goals I had last year were to sing in public, which came true several times, thankfully. And... I guess that's mainly the one that came true. Um, one of them was to help the environment, which I didn't really do, but I have like five Gatorade bottles that I haven't thrown away and I've been reusing them uh, to get my daily dose of water. Well, on and off. And so I just want to go over my goals for this year with you, most of which are the same from last year, but um, with some other things. So I'm going to go over them one by one, maybe talk about them a little bit. The first one is go to the gym every day that it's open and I physically feel good. So I don't want to necessarily focus on numbers, although I need to improve my weight, my measurements and all that, both for my health and um, my career, but I, I just want to focus on that. And I say, and I feel physically good, because if I feel like I'm dying, I'm not gonna go wanna work out. Um, like, I went to the gym for a full week, and then the last day I went, I did a yoga class, and I got really, really dizzy, and it, I was feeling dizzy on and off for several days, so I didn't go back for like two weeks. Um, that was one of the reasons I didn't go back for two weeks. Eat more vegetables, salads, fruit, and fish. Makes sense. Uh, drink more water from three to five liters. I'm going to try for five because I looked up a thing saying that for my current weight, it should be five liters. And um, eat less sugar and junk and drink less soda. That's pretty self-explanatory. I, I like to try and go sugar-free, um, which works and I feel great. But then I remember that Oreos exist and Hershey's Kisses exist and they're delicious. So it's also a struggle. Um, grow some of my own food. I've already started doing that. I planted some peppers. Like I, I threw them in a little cup of water and the roots started growing and yesterday I planted 14 seeds in two pots to see what happens with them. Um, bell peppers. So yeah. And then I want to grow other things but a lot of them take like Two years to actually grow the fruit or the vegetable. So I, I want to grow things that will grow fairly quickly. I grow the grow the actual edible food fairly quickly. Um, be more consistent with YouTube and Instagram. I always put that, and I never end up doing it. Uh, for one reason or another because my laptop stops working so I can't edit them um, or my phone is crap or I don't know but I want to try and post at least two videos a week but right now I'll just settle for one video every week 
um, and Instagram. I would like to post at least two posts, but at least on stories. I've been doing that lately, and I'm glad, um, but I just want to be able to do 50 or more photo shoots. This was a goal I had last year, but I only did one photo shoot, and, um, yeah, I need to practice way more, but find my singing style, because I like all kinds of music, and I like singing all kinds of music, but I think I need to find a style that suits my voice, or like find or find a way that I can sing that would be good for me to perform. Like you know how Christina Aguilera, her singing style is not the way she speaks. Although most people should be singing the way they speak, they shouldn't be changing their voice in any way. But Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Billie Eilish, they all sing very different from their actual voice. So I'm wondering if I should just sing the way my voice is or try and find a style like that. Um, be more organized. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm a hoarder, pretty much. Not too bad yet. But uh, I do have a lot of stuff that I should get rid of, which leads into my next one, which is uh, donate or recycle old clothes and ill-fitting clothes, which is probably most of my closet. Um, H&M has this program where you can take a bag of clothes you no longer use, and they'll give you like a coupon for... A specified amount of purchase. I think it's 900, oh, almost a thousand pesos. You get like 15% off or something uh, from a thousand peso purchase, basically. Pay off all debt. I'm at, I think I'm actually gonna make some videos about that. Um, but it's not just like my personal debt, it's my family's debt um, because they give me money too to pay all the bills. So I'm like the I'm in charge of the finances, and yeah, want to pay off all the debt this year, um, including the lawyer for us to go back to the U.S. Well, I can go back when I want. I just need money, but uh, for my stepdad, that way we can all go back as a family, uh, take better care of myself, with my health, and mentally and expressing myself and all that. I have written model maintenance, meaning like the, the maintenance that you should do as a model, like getting a manicure or a pedicure, your nails done, your hair uh, fixed and all that. Um, dermatology, skin, because as you can see, my skin is not doing well here or here. Or anywhere, really. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's good. Uh, and go to auditions and castings. I signed up with an agency, um, and they're supposed to send me like castings that fit my profile. Which I, considering they didn't ask me for a resume or experience or anything, all they did was take my picture. So I assume it means like when castings call for people who look like me, um, which is fine, but I haven't gotten any communication from them, and they take 40% out of your check, so, which is really high, like you, if anyone takes that, it's usually like a scam, but at this point I'm just desperate for any sort of opportunity to work. Um, and also I'm going to see if I can sign up with another agency once I update my pictures and my Polaroids and my normal pictures, which is another reason to do the, the photo shoots. But yeah. And, um, yeah.
yeah, just work on my health, work on myself, work on my career, being a better doggy mom, I'll take my dog out for more walks and stuff, and play with her more, because I'm always on the computer and she probably feels ignored. So, yeah, those are my goals for this year, and uh, that's all I wanted to go over, really. I did make, like, a list for things I want to accomplish every month and every week and every day, which, um, they're pretty much the same, but, like, more specific as the time goes down. So, like, things I want to do every day is practice my singing and breathing exercises, whereas monthly I want to learn three songs uh, instrumentally. Um, and like pay all bills in the year, pay all debts, whereas monthly I have send $300 or more to the lawyer, things like that. So I Hopefully I'm going to work on that starting actually today, the 7th, because I was I was on vacation. Well, I wasn't on vacation, but I took a couple of days off from work for uh, personal reasons, and the holidays were also kind of stressful, actually really stressful, and now they're gone, so I just want to try and get all of this done. So, thanks. Uh, what are your goals if you're watching? comment, uh, let me know. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye!